I will prove you wrong. I guarantee you that if you commit and if you actually take the chance and bind arms with the chefs who are in this struggle with you, you will completely change your life. I don't say that because I'm just pulling it out of my arse. I don't say that just for the crack. I say it with absolute certainty and absolute confidence that I can do it with absolutely any chef who's willing to give the time and the effort to it. The last thing I'd say, chef, what have you got to lose? Do you want to lose the gun? Do you want to get it? Do you want to do it in no fucking time? Well, here's a, here's a phone number. Give me a fucking text and see what we And we did it. And it's about to change me. And it changed everything around. I'm just a fucking normal bloke. Works my fucking tits off to bring home a check at the end of the day to my fucking to my missus and my soon-to-be kid. And this has really helped me and it's changed my life. 100% go for it. Don't, don't sit on the fence. It is, it, if you stick to the plan that, that, that you, that Cameron sets out for you, it works. I am 100%. Really, really, you know, stuck with me was, you know, make the grass greener where you are. Don't be looking somewhere else. Where you are, you need to make the grass greener. Yeah. And that resided in me. It was just like, I don't know what it is. Just, it was like, that makes total sense. You know what I mean? Make the grass greener where you were. And that's what I've been doing. Every day I wake up. But then last night I was trying to ring my mate to see if he was out for a run on the way back from work and he just wasn't answering his phone or whatever. His dad's a bit poorly or whatever else. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get a gym in the run, a uh, run in the gym. But then on the way to the gym, yeah, I kind of got this thing in my head like I was just thinking about the, the, what I've done for the previous week and it's, you know, like we always say about the new normal and things like that. Yeah. So, like, I, I kind of realised that Every day for the last three weeks, for a month or whatever else, I've come home from work or, or whatever else, and I've got in the shower, and then rather than like slip a pair of shorts on to sit around the house, like I suddenly find myself I'm tying my shoelaces up and I've put my sports up on, and I'm getting ready to go to the gym or I'm getting ready to go out for a run and whatnot. And it's like a subconscious thing now that I come home from work, I get a shower, I get changed to go to the gym. Yeah, it's just something that I do now. Yeah, that's the habit you know I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. And it, it's completely subconscious sort of thing. I don't think to myself, all oh, right, I better get changed for the gym and I better do this and I better do that. I literally just come home, get a shower, get changed, and then think, right, I'll give it 15 minutes for something to eat quickly and then I'll go to the gym. Yep. And that's just what I do now. It just That's just what happens. Yeah. So if you take ownership of your life and realise that you can make decisions that will change your life, you can make decisions that will change the life of your family. You can make decisions that will create a life for you that is completely different to what you're experiencing now. So all the little, the little victories that you don't know you're getting, that when you reflect on the week, on the, at the end of the week sort of thing, you suddenly think, fucking hell, I've had a really good week this week. Yep. And it spurs you on next week then to do something else. Like I know, I know, come fucking Monday morning this week, the first two letters, the first two numbers on my scales will say 17 stone. It'll say 17 stone something. I weighed myself this morning, like, and I was literally like 18 stone and a fucking big shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's where I was sat this morning. And so I know I'm going to be in the 17 to 18 stone range this this week. I know that. I know that for a fucking fact. It's a, it's a nailed on guarantee. Um, so, baby. it's been eye-opening. It really, really has. Um, it's changed. It's changed my perspective on a lot of things, mostly on myself. You know, I always, um, I always big up myself in my own head. You know, um, but you know, if you said to me, right, this week's challenge is you're going to have to learn how to fly a plane, but you're also going to have to learn how to fly a plane better than him, I'd say, right, you want me? To yeah, that's where I'm sitting at the moment. Uh, yeah, but I just feel dead positive about the week in general. I don't know if it's a bit of fucking sunshine, serotonin or whatever else, but yeah, I just feel really fucking positive about things at the minute. Like, so. yeah. But it's like, lads, this is the way you got to see it. You get, you're get you standing at the top of a hill, right? You've got a little boulder in front of you, okay? All you need to do is start rolling the boulder down the hill. What happens when it keeps rolling down the hill is it starts building momentum and it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and becomes unstoppable. 
you need to build momentum. Once the momentum is built, you become unstoppable. That's the aim of the game here. And that's the kind of territory that you're getting into now, Andy. Are you willing to show up when you don't want to do it? Are you willing to show up every day like you do as a chef? Are you willing to show up and actually commit to something that will completely change you? It's just like, it's just something that I do now. It's like part of my day is like, today I will go to the gym or today I will go for a run sort of thing. It's not, there's no even question in my mind that that's what's going to happen sort of thing. It's just going to happen. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's what I say. I mean, fucking hell. I've, I've been offered three head chef jobs this week from three different places that I've been. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm fucking, I'm just, I'm literally smashing it out of the park in every fucking corner of my life at the minute. It's just a fucking, it's just an absolute fucking shit storm of positive. You ever say, like, but Jeff, it gives me, I, I switch off. I switch off and. I can connect with something outside of work that's helping me be better as a person and is making my life, is improving my life. And like, I have a little kid on the way, due in March, and I'm looking forward to it. And I want to lead by example. I don't want to be a fucking lazy sack of shite that sits on the couch and does nothing. Do you know, that's sort of the way I want to be able to do things, take them out, take them playing football and stuff like that. And I want to be in, mentally in the right space to do things like that, you know, where... You know, I walked out of the gym the other day and found a fucking tenner on the floor. If that's not fucking being touched by an angel, what is, do you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking hell, I, I literally can't fucking lose it. The only thing I can't lose at the minute is fucking weight, but that's coming Monday morning. You fucking watch. Things impossible. You can change it. So all you got to do is take ownership and have discipline. And that's what Chef Fit teaches. That's what we are about. No quick fixes, no magic potions, no shortcuts. Do the opposite of what everyone tells you to do. Because no one operates with the truth.